Queen and greetings and welcome back to the Shelter Channel, folks. Today we're looking at something super cool, something pretty unique when it comes to hacks. This one was born out of necessity. As. Most hacks are when it comes to this channel, but this really came to me in a dream, not really in a dream. It came to me in a waking dream on my most recent, <laughs> you know, I believe on the Norte or the Primitivo, somewhere in between there. This came to me out of necessity. It's true. It had to happen. It did happen. And it's about to happen for you too. All this and more when we get back. Hit it! Okay, before we begin, giveaway. Let's have a giveaway. I haven't had a giveaway yet. I should totally have a giveaway. Not only that, I should also make a short video, so I'm not gonna ramble about that. Today, if you like, comment, and subscribe, you could win this handy dandy, yeah, can be no pen and flag, of my own design. That's right, folks. Not many of you know this, but I, I do graphic art, and this was something I came up with not that long because I feared, hey, the world needs a Camino pennant flag. They have everything else. Why not a pennant flag? When Plus, I'm a sucker for a good pennant flag. So, all that said, like, comment, subscribe. Now, you may already subscribe, and I hope you do. So, check that off your list. Just comment below. Make a comment. You can say is something as basic as count me in for the flag or actually comment. I want to hear from you. So, there's that. Let's get to the tip. Okay, I promise you it's gonna be fast. So, during my Norte, my feet were bothering me. They weren't, it's, it's a hard trip. If you're considering doing the Norte, make sure you're in good shape. Same thing for the Primitivo. That's why I think most people Stop on the Norte. And hop over to the Primitivo, because that is almost like training for what you're gonna experience on the Primitivo. Yeah, but they're both hard. And your feet will really take a beating. Your shoes will take a beating too. We covered that in the last couple episodes. But your feet will really take a beating. They'll feel bruised like someone's punching the bottom of it. This will happen on the Frances as well. And so that's why this is a good tip for all routes. But you will be tempted, like I was, to look for other inner souls. Even though I swear by my super feet inner souls, you're just a different person on the Camino. So you start making weird decisions and choices. I would only assume it's like being pregnant. Or maybe before you got pregnant. Doesn't matter! What I'm saying is... Your feet hurt, and you want to treat them well. Now, here's another little tip in there. You want to buy shoes that are a size or a size and a half bigger for your feet. I do a size and a half bigger for my feet, for the particular shoes I use, which are Topos. That works for me, it may not work for you. But keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, if the shoes turn out to be too big for your feet, better to be too big than too small for your feet, trust me, because your feet will swell up and fill in most of the, that footwear. That said, here's a tip. You can leave in, if you buy your aftermarket inner soles like Superfeet, Trailblazers, or Adapts, those are pretty good. But if the shoes are still too big for you, save your original inner sole and use that too. So double inner sole. Maybe you can cut it in half and just use the heel or the front end, wherever you're experiencing that like that space, fill it in. And you can leave these in your, it'll, it'll feel really comfortable too, but you can leave these in your shoes for the first few hours of your hike, when you feel uncomfortable, like your feet are swelling up, that's probably because your feet are swelling up. So that's when you remove this, okay? So you can double sole, because once more, better that your shoes be too big for you than too small. So if you have to go this route, go this route. Know that it exists and know that it's okay. Podiatrist gave me that advice as well. So it's like legit, it's that street cred right there, right? Anyways, moving along and straight to the tip, because I don't wanna waste your time. I know your time is important. You're a busy little pilgrim. Who wants to waste their time binge-watching Camino videos on YouTube? Who does that? You do! Totally came up with this by accident. I was just brainstorming because I was buying other inner soles or just uh, heel cups to put in and use my shoes. And they felt good in the moment. My problem is, is I would add them in the mid middle of the day a lot of the time when my feet were already, already swollen. So they, while they felt good when, when it came to absorbing shock and cushioning, my feet were too packed in the shoe it really was it was so it was a bad thing in the long run so i couldn't go with the double soles anymore i need something else and the entire time i'm thinking like i wish i just had a thin layer of rubber or something a little bit thinner than the inner sole and then that's when it hit me did my hand just make that sound let's try it again it did sorry for those of you who are offended by the absurd. So, you know, after days of this, I, I realized I had nothing on me. I didn't even know what I was looking for. Was I going to go to a ferreteria? 
which is a hardware store. Yeah, I was shocked too. No ferrets at all. This hack hit me a few days later in the bathroom, as most brilliance does, right? Right. It does. But what I was doing, not what you think I was doing, what I was doing was I packed a lot of my liquids and other things in my dop kit in foam, sheet foam. This stuff, folks, this stuff is awesome. One sheet of sheet foam weighs about four grams. So it weighs practically nothing. You can use this for something else in your bag, the cushion, or just line the inside pocket, your hydration pocket inside your backpack with this. Maybe duct tape it up against the wall so it's not, so you can still use the pocket, but just carry some on you. One sheet or two sheets if you're feeling crazy. I know the last couple of episodes I've been asking to carry a newspaper, now I'm asking to carry sheet foam, but four grams, folks, and it's totally worth it. Why? See that? It's a foot, it's a square foot. So, what I recommend you do is if your entire foot is bothering you, trace the inner sole with a Sharpie. Hopefully, your Sharpie's safe that you're keeping your euros in. Yeah, I know where you keep your money now. And then do another one with the other sole, however, so they're right and left. And then if you have scissors, and I highly recommend you do buy scissors, a couple of things, another tip on a tip. When you land in Spain, immediately go and buy a small lighter and buy a small pair of scissors. I don't know why we call them pairs when they're just a singular item, but that doesn't matter. Buy those immediately. That way you have some scissors on you, you have a blade, and you have fire if you need it. You can also buy a pocket knife too, which I recommend, but follow your heart at the end of the day. Follow your heart all day. If home is what the heart is, aren't we always home? Tick God, he's right. But I digress. Back to the foam. This will add, and look how thin it is. It's super thin, folks, but it is cushiony. That's why we use it to protect stuff that we're shipping in the mail like glass. One layer will add more cushion to your current cushion situation or inner sole situation. Inner sole situation. Now, if you have two sheets of this, you could double up on that. You can experiment with this too. You could do three. What I was doing, however, is I wasn't tracing my entire, I didn't have a, a full sheet of this. I only had small pieces I'd already cut up to wrap product up with inside my dop kit, as I was explaining earlier. Uh, so what I did, but it didn't really matter to me anyways, because I just needed it in key places. Now, a lot of these intersoles are marked where the heel strikes on the bottom, even like the, your aftermarket shoes are as well. So what I would do is I would cut out a square, just a small square, maybe double it up or triple it up and take that square to the heel of my inner sole. I'd also tape more over here as well. Maybe not double up, but maybe just a layer for the top part of the inner sole. If you're wise, and I know you are, you already have duct tape. Remember this, you have duct tape on your tracking pole. Yeah, it's on your right one, so you can always tell that it's your right hand tracking pole, but it's also there. So you can use it. In situations like this, so, when done right, or how I did it, not necessarily right, it looks like this. Mine did. And again, you can trace the entire inner sole and use that, and that, would, that you would tuck into your shoe first, and then put your inner sole on top of that. And this will add so much more cushion, it'll be like walking on a cloud, I'm telling you. It weighs nothing, it takes up very little space, and it's so effective when it comes to taking care of your road-weary feet. Drops in her soul. So remember, what you need is a square foot of sheet foam. Now you may be able to recycle something that came in the mail already from Amazon or wherever you're ordering from. They save that sheet foam and bring the whole thing. It's four grams, or bring just half of that and do as I did and cut it up into little patches. And so it goes from four grams to um, carry the one and two grams. Although you might want to check my math, but you know what I'm saying. So even less but you get so much out of just so little. And it's, it's, it can be a game changer in the middle of the day when your feet are killing you. It's gonna feel like walking on a cloud. So, sheet foam, have some in your pack. Two, duct tape, have some around your trekking poles. And if you're not bringing trekking poles, please bring trekking poles. Trekking poles are so, or not even bring them with you, buy them there, but use trekking poles. And that's it for today's hack, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Seriously, I appreciate it. And please, I would appreciate it even more if you liked, commented, and subscribed, and remember, Comment below, and this bitchin' Camino pendant flag could be yours. That's right, folks. Weekly giveaway starting now. Get in on that. And until next time, let's go this way. One Camino. Was that a tooth?